Hello and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source channel. My name is Anais, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua, and this is another Trivi tutorial. Specifically, we're going to look at one of Trivi's new functionality, which is detecting deprecated or about to be deprecated APIs within your file systems, within your infrastructure Kubernetes related resources. Okay, so before we can actually start using Trivi, we obviously need to have Trivi installed. So here's the Git repository, also linked below in the description. And you can find the documentation in here. Once you open the documentation, this is what you will see, an overview of Trivi, the different scan targets, for example, container images, Git repositories, also Kubernetes cluster, and then what it scans for. Now, we need to have Trivi installed here, different installation options, depending on your package management operating system and preferences that you can use. And make sure to have Trivi installed. Now you can run Trivi dash dash version and you can see the version that you run. Make sure that you are on the latest version so you can actually use this feature of checking your Kubernetes resources for deprecated APIs. So, in what cases would you have a deprecated API running within your cluster or about to install? Well, you might run a Kubernetes cluster um, that you run over several years, right, um, within your organization, and you might have to upgrade it, right, um, over time. And upon you upgrade, upgrading the Kubernetes version that you use, um, you actually have to make sure that also all of your resources are up to date. So within the different Kubernetes versions, there are things that are going to be changed, deprecated, um, and so on, <laughs> and that you need to be aware of. For example, in version 1.25 of Kubernetes, the batch version 1 beta 1 API of cron job will no longer be served, meaning you can't use it anymore. So if you're using CronJob with that version, it will likely not work. Now, these are things you can read up on the release notes, for example, and um, <laughs> see what has changed, what you might want to be aware of. But if you have lots and lots of YAML manifests within your infrastructure, you might not know every place uh, where you might be using that version. Right, so I have prepared over here a YAML manifest, cronjob.yaml, where I show you that API, right? This API could be used um, for a long time until in 1.25, you can't no longer use cronjob within that API. And this is a normal cronjob YAML manifest that you could use to that point. Um, it runs every five minutes and it's just basically running a node Alpine image and it's gonna print out the current date. That's all it does. Now, I want to install it within my cluster. So if I now go ahead and I'm connected here to my microcades cluster, and if I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say kubectl apply file cronjob.yaml, Error resource mapping not found for name, print date, namespace, uh, default namespace, no matches for current job in version batch, version beta one. So basically my Kubernetes cluster upon installation will complain that it cannot find that API and it cannot install that resource. Now I'm using here version 1.25.2 of Kubernetes with my microcades local cluster and it cannot find it. But what if you have a Kubernetes cluster that already runs resources and you want to update that cluster, resources within will just break. So before upgrading your cluster, well, upon upgrading it, you want to check that you really have updated all of your resources and there's nothing that might be failing right now or can't run because um, it can't access that API anymore. That might be one option. Another thing might be that you are going through different guides, beginner guides, and you find this example manifest. 
sorry, I'm picking up on this newsletter and blog post um, and you want to replicate it and you don't understand why you can't install it, why you can't find that version. Um, that happens a lot that you, for example, try something out online and then you can't actually, for example, install this resource, but a beginner might not understand this error message, especially saying ensure CRDs are installed first. So CRDs are custom resource definitions in Kubernetes that extend the Kubernetes API. So for example, that allows CNCF projects to run um, as applications within your cluster, such as Argo CD, um, such as Grafana, such as Prometheus, they can all run through CRDs inside of your cluster because they extend the Kubernetes API. Now in the default API, which we want to use, we don't want to install any CRDs. This version is not longer available and the cron job within is not longer available as a Kubernetes manifest. But this is obviously if you for the first time see this error message upon using a blog post, you will not necessarily understand that part, right? So overall, now that we know how you might come to that situation uh, where you want to install or have installed or have still running a, a resource with a deprecated API. Uh, how can you actually check it? So Trivi, let's run Trivi dash dash help has multiple options to check your configurations. So you can either run um, Trivi config and this will scan your files for misconfigurations. So let's go ahead and do that. Trivi config and we're going to scan our cron job yama manifest so as you can see there are lots of different things that i should probably change for that yama manifest that are misconfigured and here is the high misconfiguration api version batch version 1 beta 1 and can cron job should be replaced with the new api batch version 1 cron job so that's the new API that has the cron job. This is the old one. And Trivi will tell you that. It will give you this information, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. So <laughs> um, that's how you can find out. That is one version. The other option is that you say Trivi file system and you enable the configuration security checks. And then it can also, in addition to checking your file system, it can also run misconfiguration issues. So it find vulnerabilities and misconfiguration issues within your configuration files. And then we can specify the file and run the same check. And we will see again the high misconfiguration issue of the API version being deprecated. So let's update then our Yammer manifest and use the new one, right? The batch version one. And let's run the same scan again. Either Trivi file system or Trivi config. And now, as you can see, we are using the right version. And now we have just a bunch of low, well, and some medium, um, misconfiguration issues. So let's try again and install this file inside of our cluster. So Kubernetes apply file, cron job yaml, and it's actually already running within that cluster. So we can open it up and we can see here our cron job vulnerability report. So this is, <laughs> this is actually um, from the trivia operator that's also running inside of this cluster. It creates a vulnerability report for this container image. So as you can see, this container image is being scanned um, with the trivia operator. And I just have that open right now on my KNNS. So that's why you see this. Um, and it has two high vulnerabilities and two and one medium vulnerability. Now we want to go to the default namespace and actually check the cron job. It ran three times, um, three minutes ago, eight minutes ago and 13 minutes ago. And so we can look at the logs. And here it printed the time. That's all it did. That's what this cron job does. Every five minutes, it's gonna tell you what time it is. So here we can look at the logs and here it's five minutes earlier. <laughs> um, this is how it works. Um, this is how a cron job works. Um, now we can also just for reference, here I have in the trivia system namespace, the trivia operator running, which does continuous scans on my cluster. But ultimately exiting the cluster, this is how you can scan your Kubernetes resources and also your cluster resources for 
deprecated APIs that you might want to update. As always, all of the resources used and referenced within this video are linked below in the description. Also linked below in the description is the link to our Slack community. If you have any questions related to this video or about Trivi or Aqua open source tools, please do comment them below or join our Slack community. Now, if you enjoyed this video, we would highly appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and a yay. Subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. I would really hope to see one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.